This tractor, you can hear, is struggling with the weight of this. And not just the weight, also the amount of drag it creates from all the tines in the ground. Yeah, now, yeah, that's that's a big TV. We have, we have a smaller... 30-ish inch TV which we had in our living room in the last house that was too small but our big TV was in the basement which was the bigger room but this time we've put the big TV in the living room so we can actually see and hear it This is struggling. Okay. So this is a heavy load for this truck. Now I'm not sure I'm going to have problems with top speed. It's just getting there the issue. Yeah, I mean, we're, ha we're happy enough with our TVs. I don't need an all whistles and bells. To be frank, I don't really watch that much TV, and Mrs. Osa doesn't watch that much TV, so it's not a... Uh, Yeah, it's not a huge part of our life, but it is nice to be able to sit on the couch, watch something on TV, and then um, yeah, do whatever. Okay, come on, truck. The, the, this truck's set up for road use, so this is really the only trip it's going to be used for. Hauling full from the farm down to the store and back again. And it's certainly going faster than all my tractors, so that's a good thing. That's one thing I haven't done since we, I think since we left California, is uh, we don't do TVs in the bedroom. But as we get the basement renovated, we'll use the smaller TV down there. Unfortunately, I've lost the TV stand for it, so it's going to have to hitch on a wall again. So I'm going to need a... What the heck was that? Strange. Okay. Oh, we are struggling. I don't know if this was a good idea. Uh, maybe we'll upgrade the truck later when we've got some money. But this cab was less than a hundred thousand plus the trailer. Basically, I sold the MAN cab and bought this one plus the trailer for a similar price. not exactly a bad deal. Damn. I am not 
doing well with this truck. And we got the rolling floor trailer because we do have some low hanging roofs for uh, unload. it goes. So that's our first 47,000 litres of silage for a while. So yeah, we never got into Roku or anything like that. Um, in fact, our, our last, the last home we were in, we were using a small cheap laptop, notebook, whatever you call it, as a um, you know, link into the web and connects to the TV via the HDMI port. So we got sound, we got vision, and we could watch pretty much everything using web browsers, we'd watch TV on the likes of CBS.com, NBC.com, whatever. Um, we got, we had a membership to uh, Netflix, but I got rid of that a couple of months back. I'm just getting, I actually be about a year ago, but we were just getting. There's nothing on Netflix because everybody else is doing their own private streaming service and removing all of the content from Netflix because they want to put their content on their streaming service, not on Netflix. And so Netflix is putting up the prices but not providing any much in the way of extra content. So we decided, yeah, we're kind of done with Netflix now. <coughs> we have Hulu. Um, that's not my turning. Uh, and we have Amazon Prime, which gives us access to Amazon Prime streaming. Not that we particularly got Amazon Prime for the streaming. We got that because my wife was doing stuff with Amazon. Yeah, we've got a f we've got the internet phone TV bundle with Comcast now. Um, I got a little bit upset with whoever it was I had been using for high speed internet. And just said right and done. Um, part of my issue is I work from home. I'm a computer programmer. I need constant reliable internet. I don't need. Um, I don't, don't particularly need high-speed internet so or, or super high-speed internet since I've started streaming we now have super high-speed internet but it's not something I need for my work but the upshot of that was um, we dropped the old service we went to Comcast the internet is cheaper if you get um, TV and phone. I mean, seriously, we would be paying more for internet than we pay for all three combined, which to my mind is absolutely crazy, but okay, fair enough. And so, because of that, we now have a landline, but we don't use it. And we also have. Um, TV. And we don't use that very much either, but mm -hmm. 
But since we have Comcast TV, we can now use it, or make use of it, should I say. And that's close enough to load the trailer. So we'll leave that loading again. And go back and find our tractor, which is somewhere. I think you're done, dude. Jump out. I'll do it. But because we've got so many available streaming services, we're never out of anything that we want to watch. Um, and now that we're on Comcast TV, you can stream Comcast TV on your computer. So it's sort of, why do I need a TV box? But, uh, we've got one. So fair enough. And now we have a couch and a, a reasonably assembled living room. We can watch the TV as a TV. But most of my viewing watching either streams or YouTube videos. Less so streams. I, the thing is, is I can walk away from a YouTube video and come back in 10 minutes. With a stream, you are missing what's going on. So you don't have the interactive um, you know, what do you call it? The interactive um, element of a stream with YouTube, but eh, that's okay. Yeah, before we went to super high speed internet, I was using my own modem, but uh, I didn't feel like buying another new one, so I just uh, will use yours. Okay. The other thing I noticed with uh, oh, you can get a UPS for the modem, and I'll charge you for that too. Uh, my modem, it's plugged into my own UPS, so uh, I'm not paying rental on batteries. And it does mean that for the most part, if we do have a power failure, I can still use the internet and the like for about an hour but that's generally a case of oh, I'm streaming my wheel my wheels just stopped working because we have no power and I'm gonna have to say goodbye and move along type of thing um, I think I had that occur just the once but it does mean that you can shut down the stream You know, soft, soft shutdown so everything gets saved and what have you. At the moment, since we just moved into this house and everybody's closed, I'm not really in a good position to uh, order lots and lots of new stuff. On the bright side, we have ordered a pair of new desks. Um, I'm done with the IKEA idea. Um, we're still going to use the IKEA desks um, around the house. My wife's using two of them in her craft room and wants something taller so she can cut because the desks are too low to actually cut 
material on. But uh, I don't know how we'll uh, achieve that. And then uh, the other two will probably go into the basement as uh, desks that the kids can use when they come visit. Okay, I'm going to run an extra row along the bottom, I think. We'll then run up the side and do an extra row up the uh, top as well. And then get back to up and down the field again. So the new desks are as units bigger than the desks we were planning, but will not cover the entire edge of the room that we're using as an office. That's not a bad thing. Um, a big desk is a yeah is kind of handy. I'm also planning to. Uh, get some monitor stands so I can get the monitors off the desk real estate. I'll also get, I think, a mic stand so the mic's not on the desk and suffering from any vibrations of stuff that's on the desk. And we seriously need some desk lamps. But until we get the new desk, there's no point messing around with desk lamps. But my wife ordered the desks... I want to say Wednesday or Thursday, and they said, oh, they'll be here next Friday. Um, she then got an email yesterday that said... The desks are all ready to ship. So she's like, oh, well, that was unexpected. And then uh, she checked the shipping information, and uh, they'll be here Monday. So that's a bit unexpected. And quite possibly means we won't be assembling them or setting them up until next weekend unless I get a spare night that I'm not doing anything actually got out and cut the grass this week as well so we have a ton of hay in the backyard if anyone needs any and lives in Michigan um, but first cut of the year I usually wait until the grass seeds so that uh, any of the bare patches get uh, some help. I don't buy grass seed as a general thing. And we did that in the last house. I mean, we had some really sad looking grass at the last place. And uh, I got the suggestion, I think, from uh, a streamer who streams Farm Sim. I can't remember who. Um, but he basically said that um, it was something his dad did, was you leave the grass to grow in, at the beginning of spring until it starts to seed and then you cut it. And that releases all the seed into the grass and it strengthens the lawn. And we had tons of bare patches in our yard at the last house. And every year they were getting worse and worse. And so last year I did, I decided, okay, I'll, I'll try that. And uh, waited till the grass seeded, cut the grass. And by the end of the year, the lawn had a noticeable improvement over the previous year, which was the first year the lawn actually looked in an improved state for the entire time we'd lived there. Now, for the most part, this this new house, the lawn is okay. Um, for some reason, there's a square patch of clover in the front yard that is noticeably not grass. Um, I'm 
not sure what to do about that. Um, the backyard had a couple of thin patches, but didn't really look too bad. But I'll keep, you know, I'll just keep going with the, uh, the late first cut. And then from then onwards, you're cutting every one to two weeks, depending on weather allowing and um, yeah, height of the grass. And we did use a lot less gas in the mower to cut the yard, although they're supposedly approximately the same size as the last place. But the last place was built on a hill. And so you are crawling up that hill half the time. And that can get quite uh, heavy on the gas usage. I think a full tank of gas would do us three quarters of... Uh, no, sorry, three quarters of a tank of gas would do the entire yard. So you had to refill the mower every single time and every fourth... Uh, cut, you didn't have to refuel them. Um, this one I had, I started with three quarters of a tank and I think I've still got over a half. So, happy about that. Yeah, because the yard's flat, I don't have to worry about tipping the tractor over. It's there was a woman at our church last year uh, rolled the tractor onto herself and quite badly hurt her back. So, tractor, you know, lawn tractors and hills, not a good thing. for our state rules um, building contractors were allowed to go back to work this week so our building contractor can now get on with his uh, gazebo and um, that's not very straight is it and extension build before he can get back to us but he did come round to measure the door we, or the, the space we want a door in we're planning on putting a glass door in between the office and the dining room so that you can watch TV and not disturb me while I'm working or streaming. I doubt it will cut down much on TV noise but having a door there will at least help. Um, we'll put a glass door in since the sun's rising in the uh, Hmm, where does the sun rise? In the east. And uh, that's sunlight into the dining room, so it helps to have some extra light coming through into the office this time of the morning. I don't usually use a cultivator, I would probably use a disc harrow or something. 